we were trying to understand which is the distribution of the so-called ion channels on the membrane of the cilia. Let's talk now about olfaction, or in layman's terms, our sense of smell. It's an incredibly complex process involving ions and electrical signals. And a mathematician that's been studying this is Professor Carlos Conca. He joins me now. Carlos, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you to you. Maybe you could start by telling us, how does our sense of smell work? The sense of smell is uh, just a conversion or transduction of chemical information uh, in the air, uh, in the environment, into an electrical signal that travels inside our brain. And in this, the work that you've been doing, mm. what's the problem you've been looking at solving? We were trying to understand which is the distribution of the so-called ion channels on the membrane of the cilia at the end of the axons associated with these uh, ne uh, neurons, olfactive neurons. And, and what was the mathematical approach that you took then? The mathematical approach was the use of techniques coming from inverse problems. They are, this is a very classical or very traditional uh, mathematical techniques used to, uh, to understand some mathematical problems. We developed the mathematical model behind the olfaction. This is a, an integral equation and an inverse problem. And, and uh, the work that you've done, was it harder or easier than you were expecting it to be? Uh, it was much harder. Why is that? Because uh, we have some ex numerical results. We have uh, the output of our models, but there is still a lot of validation to be done. We are not sure that the results or the output of our mathematical models is exactly what is happening inside the, the, inside the olfactory system. So what are, the, what are the next steps then? To obtain stronger validation of the model first. And the second step will be to try to understand what happened afterwards once the electrical current has been generated. We have an intuition, and the intuition says that an emotion is generated, so a feeling. But how all this process works is something that uh, we have no idea. What uh, other problems do you think that you, the approach that you've taken could work for? Is there a wider application? I think that, uh, well, a first step will be to generalize what we have done mm -hmm. to other senses. For example, hearing, taste, uh, touch. Lovely. Well, thank you so much for joining us, Carlos. No, thank and, you uh, to you. Uh, much work still to be done then, I think. There are plenty of works for young people. <laughs>